became president of the Torn Republic and returns to Re Cullen returns to Cullen with his family and lives in peace. Hearing of the victory, he rests in peace. Disappears with Lechnot. Leaves Torn Republic with Futch. Becomes the commander in chief and protect the border. Becomes commander in chief of the Republican army. Still in search of Uber, he leaves the country. Follows Smappy. Becomes the first chairman of the Toron Republic's Congress. Wields power as head of the Merchants Guild. Tired of fighting, continues to protect Tio's mansion. Missing in action in the final battle. Oh no. Becomes a platoon commander and mediator with the elves. Begin to business. <laughs> By the time the war was over, he was gone. Disappears during the final battle. No. Both Flick and Victor. Yeah. Become the lancing instructor of the Republican army. Leaves the country. <laughs> Can't blame him. Departs to become the fastest man in the world, as if he wasn't already. Saying his contract was up, he disappears. Was in Kobold for a while, then set off on a journey. Works for rebuilding the village of the elves. Spends his life protecting the graves of Barbarossa. Graves? Embark on a journey to improve his imperfect self. Become the admiral of the Republican Army. Or Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Plans to go into business shipping, shipping business and make a bundle. Returns to Kaku and enjoys a carefree life. Goes into business with Anji. Ooh. Lives by the shores of Lake Toron and enjoys fishing. Goes into business with Anji. I guess they all go into business with Anji. Accepted as a true warrior, he departs on a journey. Follows Hicks on his journey. <laughs> Named Captain of the Border Guard. Disappears. Good. I never liked Sidonia. Always by Laponte's side. Spends the remainder of his life in his hometown. Really? Disappears north, saying he found a good business. Sets off on a journey to find the color of freedom. Resumes her career as Rune Master at Ante. Departs on a journey in search of worthy, worthy opponents. Retires from knighthood. <laughs> Good riddance. Happily continues to serve as master. Appointed to co-commander of the Republican Guard. Appointed co-commander of the Republican Guard. <laughs> okay. Become the secretary general of the Toron Republic. Placed in charge of the Republic's finances. Sets off to another land to find another adventure. Returns to his fields. Returns to Dragon's Den to coach the junior. Returns to Klon Temple and resumes his studies. Works for rebuilding the new capital of Gregminster. Lives a comfortable life with a garden full of roses. Departs to collect all sounds of the world. Retires from the armory and successfully opens a theater. Opens a clinic where he saves many lives. Return to Klon Temple. Departs with Humphrey on a journey. Ooh. Ooh. JC Minnesota. Returns to a secret hideaway in Rokaku. Dissatisfied with his work, he resumes his studies. Despising the world, he returns to the caverns. Invited to Rokaku. Becomes Master Blacksmith. Interesting. Goes to the village of the dwarves to improve skills. Becomes rich off his inventions. Forces her way into Taiho's household. <laughs> Wandering around having a good time as usual. Named captain of the Toron Republic Patrol Corps. Leads a vigorous life. Okay. Returns to Tayan, where he continues to build ships. Appointed the Republic's first chief justice. Succeeds Lechnot as seer. Ooh. Becomes the most popular dancer in the Republic. Returns to Dragon's Den, where she resumes her duties. Still preoccupied with alchemical studies. Departs on a journey to find a bigger trick. Departs to spread the Liberation Army songs. Failed at teleportation, she disappears without a trace. <laughs> Welcome to, to the restored village of the elves. Returns home and claims his inheritance. Leaves home, saying, adventure calls. Becomes assistant to Warren. Starts his own business. Returns to the forest. Goes off to collect material for biography of Matthew. Appointed martial arts instructor. Lives in a small house with me to the cat. Let's Moose to succeed and retires. Still loves to gossip. Becomes ch village chief of Kobold. Working hard to become the number one warrior in Kobold. Still the cook at Marie's Inn. Opens a restaurant specializing in stews. Throws away his scythe and becomes a farmer. Wouldn't he need a scythe? Anyways, asked to des design a giant safe for dwarves, he sets to work. Enjoy success after opening an honest inn. Marries her childhood sweetheart, Kirkus. Said to be training for homemaking. <laughs> Still tossing dice at Kaku. <laughs> Accepts an offer to design stained glass windows. Reopens her inn at Grigminister. Hmm. 
The ancient castle of Toron is still full of flowers. Working as a maid at Marie's Inn. Keeping busy, keeping busy designing new bathtubs. Gladly accepts an offer to be keeper of Torn Castle. Departs for the sea in search of the edge of the world. Steals Grand Minister's palace treasure and vanishes. Finally succeeds in opening his own store. Wow, that didn't go by freakishly fast. No kidding. So, so there were all 108. Yeah, we got to see what happened with them all. I apologize it went by so fast. You guys might have to go back and stop and think about a lot of those. Especially the ones who went off on their own little journeys and stuff. Yeah. Um, so we won, and we founded the Torin Republic. Is what it's officially called after this. Yes. And, and it's basically taking the place of the Scarlet Moon Empire. Yeah, it went by so fast at the beginning. Um, it said what happened to us. It said that we were offered to become president, but... So it's like, what, what happened with the butt there? That's pretty interesting. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of sad we, we talked through all that. I mean, I'm glad we read it all, but the music is actually pretty interesting there. I'm sure somebody has it on YouTube, though, with the ending, without people talking. Probably so, yeah. <laughs> miso soup. Converses. Yeah, miso soup, yukiki. Sukiyaki. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If you guys don't know Japanese foods, um, <laughs> look them up. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Sagi. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Soggy san. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just keep getting all these emails today. I'm very popular. Apparently so. No rest for the weary. Yes. Usagi san team, yeah. <laughs> I like how they wrote some of these names. This is hilarious. You can tell they were having a lot of fun with this, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, he, he who is not appearing in this game. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. I like the ending in Sweet Into better. Well, all the music in Sweet Into is better. Fast Game Tappy, I know Tappy. <laughs> no, I, I really do. Like I know Tappy from other games. Really, that's pretty cool. I didn't well, know one that. One other one. game. <laughs> uh, Tappy did the main theme for Metal Gear Solid. Oh, that's cool. Which was later found out to be plagiarized from a Russian song. <laughs> that's well, the only never reason mind. I know Tappy. Huh? Never mind then. That's not cool. No, that's that's the only reason why I know Tappy. Oh, okay. So say that's pretty strange knowledge for you to have. Yeah, no, it's because there's that whole there's a whole incident with the the finding out that the main theme was basically plagiarized from the Russian song from like the sixties or seventies. Some Russian orchestral work. So Tappy had like changed like two beats in the song and I mean a little bit more than that, but what movies were there to edit besides the beginning? Package design. Uh, that's a good question. Got about a minute and a half left, so here's hoping we get to the end of this. Oh, I'm sure. We're already at the ending theme. Not that that means anything. I was going to say. <laughs> that's just meaning that we're on the music, basically. That's all. I, I'm pretty sure the music credits are much longer for uh, to get into. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> I love reading credits for old games. They're not nearly as interesting anymore. Yeah, they really aren't. It, it's fun, though. Like, you, There's definitely a couple of companies that have a lot of fun with their credits. Yeah. Like, If you go through like, and read some of the Blizzard credits, they're hilarious sometimes. Yeah, I love Blizzard credits. So I guess that's the end of it. Um, I'm going to leave yes. this up since... I want to... Oh, never mind. So, we left it up. Yes, we beat Suikoden in 1. Um, ooh, what's this? Well, we have 30 seconds. Are we running away? And Grimio is with us! Sneaking away in the night. Yes, we don't want to be part of this Republic any longer. Mm. Or we have something else to do. The, the end. This picture changes depending on whether or not you got 108 or whatever. Since we did, we have Grimio with us. Cool. Um, kind of wanted to give a spiel. I guess I can give it and just cut the video. And have. Well, yeah, as I say, we're yeah, our time is up right now, so like um, we just ran out of time. So. Yeah, well, 
I'll, I'll deal with that later. So anyways, I wanted to thank everybody for uh, watching this uh, Let's Play. I know there's some other ones out there, but thank you for watching hours of Sweet and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we made had fun making it. Um, we are definitely going to do Sweet Kid 2, and I'm already working on a surprise for you guys. Um, I don't know how long that will take before us we get started with that, but um, uh, I guess that's it. 